We are ready. I'd like to call the meeting to order for May 10th, 2022. Would you please stand for a moment of silence? Would you please join in the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Thank you. Well, all questions here. Trustee Hunter here. Trustee Gilder here. And we. No, I'm going to try having some over here by next Tuesday, and then that way you'd have a week to look them on. I will make a motion to pay our expenditures. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Roll call. Trustee Sheets? Yes. Trustee Hunter? Yes. Trustee Good? Yes. And visitors, is Hannah on? Anna is with the messenger. Yep. I do not see her as of yet. Okay. I'm sorry. She is on. Hi, Anna. Hello. Hi, Anna. She unmuted right. Try that again. Hi, Anna. Hi there. Thanks for having me this evening. Hi, Anna. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Good to see you all. Okay, we'll move on. Is there anything else, Ryan? I'm sorry. Are there? Is there anyone else on there? Nope. All right, we'll move on to departments. Deputy Hamilton emailed me last minute and said he just wasn't going to attend because he was not feeling well. So, Robert, you're up. Okay. <clears throat> Well, Prairie Township is going to pave their part of Johnson Road, and they asked if we would like to do ours at the same time, which what they're doing is the same process they did on Regal and Derrick Road last year. Um, they went ahead and ran the numbers on that, and the total for our part was $148,108.50. My eyes about popped out of my head when I seen it, but we do kind of the way the township <laughs> goes, we've got a lot more Johnson Road than they do. So what I'm proposing is to have it surface treated. They put down the tar and run uh, smaller limestone gravel over the top of it. Because um, after I, I went back and looked at the road and Talk to the paving inspector. I'm like, besides a couple bad spots that I could touch up, I said, that road's not that bad, is it? He goes, no. I said, well, I just can't fathom the thought of spending that much money on something that really doesn't need that to be spent on it at this time. So to Tar and Chip Johnson Road, the county came up with $25,688.38. And if we decide to do that, I told them go ahead and get Dave's portions of Johnson Road done first, and then we'll do ours. And the finished product will look real similar. So when they're done with the motor paving, they come back and more or less do the same thing over the top of it, just with smaller gravel. But it'll all look roughly the same when it's done. We can get by with twenty five thousand. I have I haven't seen my budget papers in a while, but um, and that will look like they're way more expensive. Oh yeah, and it'll look real close. So, but I mean, we've got some, which I understand on Dave's end. We used to maintain from Norton and all the way through uh -huh. uh, since Columbus kept annex and we kind of shifted that when Prairie Township took over from Coons to Norton. And when we had that part of Johnson in the springtime, you'd have places where 
mud would be pumping up through and stuff like that. So that really is a good fix for that end. So, and there are deep potholes. Yeah. Yeah, I, they've got some pretty big ones up there that they fill. So <coughs> pretty good ruts or dumps ruts on the other side of Coons Road, isn't there? I mean, I was with Greg when they were plowing snow and pretty good bump in there. On towards the west. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where they the county replaced a cut the road. Cut the road there one time and it it eventually settled some, but we can build that back up and before they do the tar and chip and then it should level that out there as well. Have you discussed doing that with the county and Dave yeah, actually, Dave called me the other day and asked me what uh, my quote or my estimate was, and he was pretty surprised with that too. So, but I told him that's what my plan was, and he goes, "Oh, that sounds fine. It's a good match." So, so, so. so just Then about a resolution number thirty-eight to what would you call it? Just target? just uh, surface treatment. Surface treat Johnson Green. One second. Money um, at a cost of $25,688.38. I'll second. Roll call. Trustee Sheets. Yes. Trustee Hunter. Yes. Trustee Cook. Yes. Well, then last Friday we had that heavy rain that kept us pretty busy that entire day. But by the end of the day, they were. All the water was off of our roads, which we really didn't have too many that were. But yeah, by the end of that day, the water receded back into the ditches, which leads me to Old Harrisburg Pike. I brought it up several, two or three meetings ago that the water coming down through there is starting to erode the banks. And I've talked to some of the residents and we're kind of all in agreement that can't remember how many years ago, ODOT updated all the tiles along 62, almost to Pleasant Corners going north. And now that water gets there a lot quicker. And one resident said, it just came up so quick that as they were all camped out at their mom's house, in case they had to get her out for the driveway covered over there. Um, I talked to a couple of people, so I'm going to try to schedule a meeting with ODOT's hydrologist and also maybe ADP because the one picture I gave you, there's some pretty sizable power poles through there. And I don't know how deep those run, but there's several of them. That are rooted clear up to the pole, leaving probably four or five feet of that pole exposed on the back side. So I don't know if what I'm hoping for is to maybe talk ODOT into all sharing some fixes down there or just to see what's available. Is that John Adam? It is, yes. That's not his number today, but everybody acts like he's. Really nice to deal with. It, yeah. So, but yeah, we'll keep it informed on what's going on there. Hopefully, I trust these pictures. Yeah. Yes. Hopefully, we can get some helping hands in this matter. You know what that meeting will be? I haven't even called him yet. It'll probably just be me and him, and I may invite a uh, drainage engineer from Franklin County, his uh, technician. And if you want to be there, I would come. Maybe even some of the residents if they're available. So, but other than that, we had one burial and on our 
water heater started leaking in the room department. So I'm going to try to find a new one and we'll probably install it or so just to save a little money. So, so that's all I have. Anything else for Robert? Okay, since Chief Taylor is absent and I did have a text from him, but I didn't read it. So let me see if there's anything for tonight. Thank you for allowing me to be excused this evening. Also, Julia's softball referrals are winning. <laughs> That's why he's not here tonight. And she had a home run, which he missed. I have some information for you. For the uh, chief passed along to me. Uh, from the fire department, uh, the last couple of weeks, there hasn't been a ton. I'm just kind of running down through the list here. Uh, we've got 117 runs for the month of April, 22 runs for the month of May to date. Of course, that has increased um, in the last days. Um, apparatus maintenance, uh, we found a hole in the compression hose line in engine 231. Uh, we found it, we repaired that. Utility truck received a new new batter. Uh, station projects moved uh, the. If you if you notice, we have the exterior uh, doors here. We moved the handle from the outside of the metering door um, just to make sure that the door was secure. Had an issue with the locking mechanism, so an easy fix to that was to take the door off. So it is now secured by the door to the main. So both doors are locked. Battery oper tool, battery operated tools uh, that were approved were delivered. I think we're still waiting on uh, a tower light and uh, two box lights to arrive. Uh, the light over the main door um, on the far side rear engine bay has been repaired. And then finally, we send a dry suit off to underwater connection on 62. Uh, we had a small leak in the legs of that suit. Information we participated, uh, Chief and Lieutenant Johnson participated in a large scale exercise with the city. Uh, it was a tornado event that they held um, at multiple locations within the city, just in preparation through, through Jackson Township and Grove City's EOC. Full time member, uh, we did have a full time member expected to be out for approximately six to eight weeks um, due to off duty. An off duty injury. And then finally, there's going to be, uh, we have approximately 378 hours of overtime uh, so far slated for May. Um, that is not including any call offs um, that are unexpected. Uh, we have shifts. We've had a, a, several over the past weekend due to lack of availability for part time. Um, and most of those have been due to call-ups at the or overtime at the full-time job. This, of course, 378 doesn't include any overtime for training, holdovers, or people getting here for anything. I believe that is it from the fire department. Thank you. Do we have any other questions? New business, uh, Memorial Day service at Oak Grove Cemetery. I spoke with Bob Schmitz today, and he said one o'clock they've always done, and they their VFW post is planning to do it this year. 
that they will be um, maybe their last year because of lack of membership. They are disbanding and will be selling their building. And he's working on trying to get another post to take over the service because he thinks it's so important. So, and he will be calling Pat Dillon tomorrow to place tabs. So we didn't have all that information. I just I just wrote the notes down and I will take that back to Paul Shambaugh, who's our honor guard coordinator. Did I give you one of these? It gives you make you a copy or something. I've got his phone number to put it on. Thank you. He's going to call the Boy Scouts to see if they would help them put the flags out. And he's already picked up the flags today. So that's underway. Did you have anything to add to that? No. Anything else about that? Any other new business? On to announcements. Just a reminder to everybody, Chief Taylor's retirement party is Friday, May 27th, noon to four. All are invited to attend. The other announcements. Move on to Paula. Okay, um, I'd like a transfer of um, $10,000 to the medical reimbursement account. I will make resolution 39 to transfer $10,000 to the medical reimbursement. Do I have a second? Roll call. Trustee Sheets. Yes. Trustee Hunt. Yes. Trustee Good. Yes. Okay. Um, I received several um, emails from a representative of Burnham and Flowers about COBRA benefits administration. Um, there was some confusion over it. Um, they had sent um, an agreement, an administrative service agreement, and in the agreement, um, it was showing that the township would be charged five dollars a month per employee. Um, I did call for clarification because I didn't remember us asking them to do that, and it was explained that they have um, always done our, been set up to do our COBRA administration. But they were having a third party do it. Now they're doing it in house. So that's why all the paperwork. And when um, I spoke to her about the um, class, she said, oh no, there isn't a class. So I pointed out in the agreement where it stipulated about the payment amount. And she said that language should not have been in there. And it was a mistake. So she's going to rework the paperwork and then send it in. So, um, Based on the paperwork she sent, there will be an agreement that we're just saying Burnham will be doing it for us as opposed to the third party. Um, and they had sent out a letter. Um, the chief had called this morning because he had gotten a letter from them about the COBRA status. Um, he thought we had canceled his insurance already and I assured him that we had not done so and that it was probably more an informational because of all the COBRA stuff going around and that's what it was. So that's hopefully taken care of. Um, I sent you guys an email on information from uh, Sedwick on the injured worker. Um, so you need to make a decision on that or at least look at it and discuss it. Um, there was notice from worker comp on the injured worker um, from Otarma. Um, our annual coverage anniversary date is going to be coming um, up. I will um, copy this and give it to the department heads and a copy to you guys to make sure that we've got all our insurance equipment and everything in there. And they had made a note, it just said, be sure to take advantage of this year's 500 more safety grant. And there is a $1,000 Police and fire policy grant, if applicable. So they may want to look at that. Um, there were two updates on uh, from Franklin County Board of Health on COVID. Um, County um, Auditor's Office newsletter. 
a um, couple notices from the Board of Election. One was they were having an official meeting and then to remind people about voting, which was last week. Uh, Franklin County Soil and Water Newsletter, County Commissioner's Newsletter, uh, Gov.Deals um, are now banking with Wells Fargo notice. Uh, several notices from uh, Swaco. One is that um, Executive Director has changed. Um, Swaco has a grant for community waste reduction. Um, there was an announcement um, of their household hazardous waste, which was last week, but there is a permanent site. I believe it's on Fifth Avenue. It's open part days um, every week. Um, Ohio Office of Budget Management, um, their state of Ohio monthly financial reports for April. Several emails from Worker Comp. Um, Drug free workplace program, um, that kind of thing, just informational. Uh, Township Association, um, just um, information. Um, and then um, several emails from Sedwick, just um, BWC News for public employers, and they're having a risk services uh, webinar. An update on Burnham and Flowers contacts. Asheville propane, um, important propane safety information, um, wire from Medical Mutual and the State Township News or Magazine. That's all we have. Sedgwick email. Have you had a chance to? Okay. I glanced over it, but honestly, I was looking at it on my phone and it was kind of jumbled as far as. So I need to run it off to be able to read it. Is there a time? Uh, she doesn't say. I can check with her tomorrow. Okay. We were up against. Uh, she doesn't say anything. Okay. Put that on our agenda for the next meeting. Okay. Too. Is there anything else? We are to speaker sheets. Did you have anything you wanted to know? I've been a township resident for five years and I was just happy to be out. There's a meeting. I always just want to show up and see what's going on in the township. So. Glad you made it. So. Hey, if there's nothing else, I will make a motion to adjourn. Do you have a second? I'll second. Roll call. Trustee Sheets. Trustee Hunter? Yes. Trustee Good.